and welcome to today's video when we have received this package from van style and it is our t5 bike rack for our camper van so let's get it fitted style it came quick delivery and we are gonna take it out of the box and see what we have to do to put it on the back of the camper van so let's have a look original VW one which is the one that we wanted okay so we've managed to get all the packaging off whoa the packaging off what is that happening so we've managed to get all the packaging off and let's have a look shiny Uh, let's have a look at the instructions now and see what we have to do to get it on the back of the bike, on the back of the, on the, back of the camper van. Hi there, so I have come into the office because it is really warm today in the garden and I wanted to have a look at this bike rack out of the sun and where I wasn't going to be sweating. So we're in the office, I've got the instructions, um, well I will get the instructions, they're here somewhere. And I am going to go and try and suss out how to get this on the back of the camper. So we've just got the, well, I've just got all the instructions out. And it looks pretty, well, based on what they give you, it all looks quite straightforward. I mean, there's, you can see here, there's not a great deal, a few stickers, a little um, Allen, I don't know what that is, Allen key type thing, a couple of these, rubber things and obviously the instruction manual so we will have a read and see see okay. thankfully if you can see that thankfully we don't have to build it because it's ready assembled which is good Achtung, please ensure that when driving with the rear rack turned up, the bicycle clamps are parallel to the wheel rails. If not, they could clash with the wiper. Uh, that is the clamp, so that is the, there's, there's locking clamps that, that bolt the bike to the thing for stopping being stolen, so make sure they are parallel to the wheel rails. We can do that. Montagizi Nigialu. Okay, we go to that one. That's GB. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Okay, so these are the GB instructions. Not sure how much that you can see. Uh, let us not bore you with me watching me read. I will have a look and perhaps come back to you when we actually get to put it on the back of the van. So we are now going to put the bike rack onto the back of the camper van. So let's see what we have to do first. Okay, so we are going to put the bike rack on the back of the T5. So it tells us that we have to measure a certain distance between there and there. And then we have to put these straps around like that and the same on that side because that is where that is where these sit 
so that then protects protects the paintwork. So that's the first thing. Okay. So you've got the rubber things here, and they'll sit something like that. That's the first thing that that we need to do. So let's let's measure that and do that first. Right, so everyone, this is my car. Max is cleaning it, doing a good job. He's got loads of bad poo off. Yeah, so then otherwise Mummy can't see in the dark when she's driving home from work. You're getting all that bad poo off. Excellent, well done. Okay, so it's from here to here. It's 240 millimetres. And then we put the sticker on there, and the same this side. And that's where the, the back, the rack will clamp to. So we're gonna do that bit, I think, off camera, so that I get it right, and then we'll come back. So we put these on as guides, and then we're gonna put the cloth of stickers that protect the paintwork on the outside there, and the same there. And that's where the clamps will sit. This is from there to there, where the stickers are gonna start. Is um, 83 centimeters, and we've done a quick sense check, and the gap between here and here is about 83 centimeters. So these will sit up on here on the outside of these post it notes. That's all they are post it notes to put as a marker. Now we have these stickers, which are the ones that are going to go there. So that. Is the next job to do? Uh, hey, Max, what are we doing? We're gonna have the back rack on. We're gonna have the back rack on. Rat meat. Right, meat. Rat meat. Let's do it. So that's our son, Max, as you might guess. Right. So this one is. Um, we have to measure ten centimeters around here, and then the sticker goes around the bottom here like this. So that when we do this a bit neater without dropping anything, but basically that will end up being there. And there will be a clamp going onto here that you'll see in a second. So we've measured the top, we're gonna to measure we've measured the top, we're gonna to measure the bottom, and then we will hang it and realise we've done it all wrong and have to do it again. But hopefully we won't. Okay, so you can now see that we've got the markers. So here is where the protective Sticky is going to go for the bottom clamp on the right and over on the left here this is 10 centimeters so it's going to go there to there and it will clamp to there and then on the top the same this is 240 so the sticker will go where my fingers are and the clamp will go to there and the same on this side the stickers will go to that's 240 sticker on there then we have to hook it over the top, drop it down, clamp it to here. Easy as that. So I've done one side, which went okay, and down the bottom there. Thank goodness. Um, so we're now going to do the top one to show you how it's done, and this is the one that we're going to probably mess up. So it takes about 20 minutes to take this off. And then there's the 240 to the edge there. So it takes a few minutes, just a, a few seconds, just to make sure that it's not quite there. So just lining up the the sticker along the edge there of the camper van. And that looks pretty good. And then we're just smoothing it. all the way round to the top. You may, the sun's really bright today, so you may or may not be able to see. And then we do leave centimetre hanging over the back, because we have to tuck it under, and then open the boot and stick it down from the inside, which we will do now. I don't know if I can open this without knocking Suzanne out. I don't know if you can zoom right in and see, see that there. This is where it's just come round and we just need to sort of, oh, that's a bit awkward. 
awkward, but bend it around, that's it. And then it just goes underneath because there's going to be a hook come over the top there, so then it protects the inside as well. And that's it. Now let's move on to the bottom one. So for this one, we have to have the boot open. So zoom in on where we are here. So this is, uh, and that actually looks a bit more than 10 centimeters. So I'm just going to check that. Just checking that it's 10 centimeters from the edge of the post it down to there, and it is. So that's fine. 100 mil. So we just have to now. Line that. That's the wrong one. Okay. That is the wrong one. How did you know? Way too long. No, it's a sort of DIY going on today. So back to. <laughs> Good job you didn't stick that down, darling. Otherwise, I know. I'd have been that shouting been chaos, and screaming. It? Okay, so this is better. So 10 centimeters to the edge of the post here. You have to leave. Half on the door, half off, so that when it's stretched out like that, we can just fold it round. Really hard to see in this light, so this may or may not come out. But basically, we've now got somewhere for the bottom clamp to sit. How did you know it was too long? Because it came right down here. Oh, right. And um, a, what's that one for? Oh, I'm not sure. There's something else we need it for. And then, so just to double check, 10, 10 centimetres. Yeah. So... I think from the measuring and the sticking, that is it. There is one other thing that I found out we have to do, and that I'm just going to take the camera. Thank you. These things here, I'm not sure how they come off, but we have to change them. These are quite soft, but with the extra weight, the little grommet things. Oh, right. um, Why do you have to change them? But with the extra weight, we have to put these ones on, which as you can see, these are quite soft. Right. See my phone going in there. This is a bit harder, so I think because of the extra weight on the tailgate, it needs stronger little bushes. So we are going to do that next. So I'm now taking these little grommet things off, just an Allen key. And I'm a few seconds away from dropping it all over the floor and spending 10 minutes looking for it. The whole thing has come out, which is not to worry. So there's the bolt that's come out. This is just like a, a, a plug of some kind, wall plug thingy type thing. So. This should just, I don't know if you can see this pull off like that. So that's the, the soft one. I have one that's a lot firmer, which should, if it doesn't, no, it should sit over the top. See if we can, So you kind of have to uh, squeeze it in because it's a bit tight, but that's in now. That goes back through the middle. And then the whole thing. Okay, sorry about that. Like I said, I just dropped it and it took me five minutes to find a black Allen key on a black floor. But, so this now goes back in there and then in true plug fashion this should just screw in and act like a bit of a plug tighten it up and there we go hope you can see that so that's one change I can do the other side now Okay, so that is the other one added in now. This is the, the firm grommet. So that's done. So to recap, we put the stickers on both sides. We put the stickers on here, so we are now ready to mount the bike rack. So let's try and do that. Okay, there was one more piece of, of protection to stick on, and we're not quite sure why, but we've done it anyway. And there's one last bit to go, uh, where are we, along here. So this is the lock of the tailgate. Maybe because and it's heavy? Yeah, I can only think that it's heavier and it's dropping down a couple of millimetres and maybe scra scraping on the on the lock as it, as it shuts, but I don't know. Um, but basically it's told us to put another piece along there, really hard to see I know in this shadow, but um, it's, 
bit better now my hand's gone, but there's a piece of tape in there. So that's that done, and we are now ready to, I think, mount it. So this is where we realise we've done it all wrong. Okay, so we're all ready to hang it. Let's you know, take it over the top, tie it up at the bottom, and that should be it. Do the bottom away from the path yeah. for now, and then just try and line the tops up with the piece of paper. Oh yeah. Not the paper, I mean the, the thingy. Okay, I The last thing we're supposed to do is measure it now to make sure it's in the middle. We are. That is. Okay, so that's done. So what I'm going to show you now quickly is what it says in the instructions is this needs to be as flush as possible. Here, this is the claw. Otherwise when it shuts it could rub on there, so that's pretty, that's pretty tight. So is that, so Suzanne is going to lower it slowly. You could probably hold it by this if it's easier. Really slowly, and we're just going to watch to make sure it clears the lights this side. Okay, stop there. We'll check the other side. Yeah, go on a little bit further. Yeah, and then push it shut. Perfect. So there she Max is. And this is Max. Where is your so that Bobby? is our camper run, van go. with run, run, run. with the bike rack on. It looks pretty cool. So next thing is to see how we fit the bikes. I am just going to point one thing out here. Oh, this sun is ridiculously bright. Let's go around this side. So we measured 100 millimetres, which is what it said. You can see that the paper is only just, it's only just there. So around here, there's loads. So I would, I don't know, I would think maybe 95 would give you um, a little bit more comfort on this side. And it's, it's not, you know, if it's a mistake this side, it's a mistake the other side because this is tight as well, we're okay. I don't know see that, I don't know. See the tape there just being covered by the claw. Um, we did the 10 centimeters, what it said in the book, and it's only just managed to fit on, so. But you can see it's, it's real, um, it's really solid. So now let's see what the bikes look like. Right. It's all up, it's all in place. So we're now going to pop the first bike on. Uh, heaviest nearest the car, they say, which is Suzanne. So we are going to do that first. So we're going to do it. two main jobs to start with because Suzanne's bike is heavier. Bike. Suzanne's bike is heavier than the car. Right, yes, yes, you get a lot of back, Miss Max. So we drop it in the gutter in there, otherwise, the wheel will just keep spinning. That's it. Okay, so that's first one on, but the I pedal seems. Well, we'll just turn the other around. Back pedal there, front wheel there. The um, the pedal. I think I must have to read the instructions because if you look down here. Maybe the pedal should have been at the bottom because the pedal's really close to the yeah to the window, and if you put the pedal at the bottom, it will probably. Probably work better, so we will try that and see if that makes a difference. Yeah. 
Okay, that still hasn't worked, so we are going to have to do what every man doesn't want to do and read the instructions. Yeah. The bicycle pedal on the, verti on the vehicle side must be positioned vertically up. This gives the maximum clearance. So it doesn't have to go up, so... Oh, it's still very close there, you can see the wheel's still really close, but the, 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 the wipe is very thin, so that should pass through there. These, you have one, two, three straps to tie around there, so that will probably have to be moved up here. We're probably two or three inches hanging over there. And similar that side, possibly we could wheel it back a little bit, but we've obviously got to oops got to be careful of we can this is our furthest furthest strap, but um that's it, the next bike goes on, handlebars this side, seat that side, and my maxes will the little one will go here. So that this these hold the first three on, so one, two, three, this locks. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then the third one, somehow, this, but I don't know how, that means the fourth bike will be, you could be able to steal the fourth bike. Well, I need to look into this bit, but um, as a fitting goes, you can play around with it, depending on how many bikes you've got or what bike you've got, but that is it. One thing that we did do, which is worth worth checking is to phone your insurance company because if you are driving down the motor and one of your bike falls off and wipes out another car you will be liable so um, my bike it's so happy. yeah the bike will be fine it will ride off the lorry so this is supposed to be okay so you can still see the lights still see the number plate so don't need to do anything with that and that is it Quite straightforward, I think. It wasn't too bad, was it? I remember it? when like reversing or anything like that. Well, yeah, that's a good point actually. Certainly, the good thing about the camper vans yeah, was, a yeah, space. you could go under a two meter or two point one meter car park. Oh yeah, but now we're not going to now, move the bikes on. Now we can't. Easy. That's one thing to yeah, we're not going watch to out. It's higher, isn't it? I mean, if you're going to like a beachside car park and you're going to take your bikes off anyway, you, you can take your bike off the and then. Um, you can take your bike off and then maybe what I'll do not today is I'll just make sure it doesn't sit higher bikes do, think, though, bikes do yes but the rack itself so if no, you can have bikes on the rack is lower it's just the bikes that's higher so there we go done nice okay is done. how you fit a VW T5. This is the original. This is the um, original VW one. It's not like an aftermarket one. It's a proper VW branded one. So that's how you fit the VW T5 tailgate. Can only be put on a tailgate for obvious reasons because it looks over the top. But that's how you fit it. So I hope that was useful. If it was, don't forget to like and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more camper van tips and tricks and we will see you in the next video good night